her catch her very next meal. So ocelots have a wide range of the ability they have to climb, including trees and all the shrubs that we have here in the valley. They actually have U shaped or bowed front legs and they have razor sharp claws. They're built pretty much entirely for climbing as you can see CL behind me going ahead and doing that amazing climbing. But the really cool thing about ocelots is they can rotate their back ankles 180 degrees so they can climb down a tree head first. This is really important for the ocelot because they have a much larger predator that likes to eat them. So if they're climbing up a tree and see that predator, usually a jaguar in a tree, they can very easily climb right back down no problem. Or if they see something on the forest floor that's very scary, they can easily climb up very quickly and get out of the way of that big predator. Now, there are only three cats that have the ability to rotate their back ankles. The ocelot, the margay, and the clouded leopard all can climb down head first. You guys probably have never noticed, but if your house cat gets stuck in a tree, then you have to go get it, or it jumps out. It will not climb back down, and if it does, it climbs back down, not head first, because they don't have the ability to rotate their ankles like these three cats do. You can see that gives them the chance to climb up, to climb sideways, to climb down, across. They can even hang upside down for a little bit because of those razor sharp claws, because of those really neat ankles, that great adaptation. But unfortunately for the ocelot, they are endangered, especially here in the valley. There aren't a lot of them left. Endangered is a sad word because that means there are only a few, but it's a word that still has a lot of hope. That means we still have a chance to be able to help save these guys.